morning, Year 10. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Please could you write the date and title, Marketing Campaign Theme Park Project. Okay, for your do now, I'd like you to answer these questions. What is the purpose of advertising? What is a marketing campaign? What ways could you market your theme park? And what kind of techniques would you have to consider to make your advertising successful? Pause the video to answer these questions now. Okay, so purpose of advertising is to promote and sell a product or experience. What is a marketing campaign? Any action planned in order to achieve a marketing goal of a company, taking into account future promotion as well. What ways could you market your theme park? Promotion advertising, so radio, television, internet, paper, adverts, leaflets, celebrity endorsement or posters. What kind of target um, techniques would you have to consider to make your advertising successful? So make sure you um, target, um, make sure you're, you're, you specifically targeted your target audience. So consider repetition, colour, endorsement, radio, television, billboards and social media. So make sure you've jotted down notes in response to your do now. Okay, so persuasive techniques. We're now going to look at a range of persuasive techniques. Make a note of the techniques and examples as we go along. Think about how you could incorporate each technique into advertising your theme park. So personal pronouns. Personal pronouns will address the reader or viewer directly. So it's a very effective way of using direct address. For example, have it your way, your M&S, or the, what I always remember, L'Oreal, because you're worth it. So how could you show your target audience that you've considered their needs by using a personal pronoun? So it engages them and makes you think, it makes them think, that you've done what you've done specifically for them. So do consider using personal pronouns whenever you're marketing. You've also got rhetorical questions. Rhetorical questions are questions that don't normally need answering. They're purely asked for effect. For example, could you save money on car insurance? You don't want the audience to say yes or no, you simply want them to think about it. Think about what question you could ask your audience to make them choose your theme park. So you've got tricolon. Often, advertisers use a group of three words, images or ideas to advertise something. For example, a Mars a day helps you work, rest and play. Of course, that's completely false. You don't want chocolate, you want fresh fruit, obviously. Okay, so the rule of three often helps readers or viewers remember what the advert is telling them. I'd like you to consider what three ideas you could use for your theme park. Repetition. Repetition within an advert is very similar to the rule of three or tripling, but should not be confused with it. While the rule of three presents an idea in three different ways, repetition repeats the same information over and over again. So jingles or slogans to music can be a way to repeat and therefore reinforce your message. Think of the Go Compare Insurance advert, which I'm sure everyone loves. <laughs> um, repeated over and over and over. It gets a bit annoying but it does stick in your head. Please think about the key messages you would want to repeat for your theme park. Flattery. So flattery is used by advertisers and writers to get the audience on their side. Its main purpose is to flatter the audience. So again we've got the example because you're worth it personal pronoun and flattering the audience. You want to boost their ego to make them think, yes, I am worth it. I do deserve good hair, therefore I'm gonna buy this product. So consider how could you use flattery to encourage people to spend money on what might be an expensive day out at your theme park. So pause the video and jot down some ideas. You've also got superlative. A superlative is usually an adjective used to describe the highest or lowest quality of a product. Superlatives are often used by advertisers to make their products sound amazing. So for example, the best family day out on Wales, Wales premier water park. So it's saying something's the absolute best. It is hyperbole, it is exaggeration, but it is for effect. And so I would like you to consider how are you going to distinguish your theme park from others using superlatives. Emotive language. 
So emotive language is the kind of language used to make a reader feel something emotionally. Using emotive language or emotive appeal allows a reader or viewer to connect what, with what's being shown to them. So the John Lewis Christmas adverts are an excellent example of advertising with emotive appeal. What emotive appeal will your theme park have? Will it bring families together? Or what kind of other kind of ideas might you want to use? Noun phrases. So this is where you have an adjective plus a noun. Adjectives are used a lot in advertising to describe the product or place that you want a reader or viewer, um, that you as a reader or viewer want to know about. Adjectives usually give extra information about a noun and can be used either before or after a noun. The most jaw-dropping words, Alton Towers Resort has been a world-renowned haven of fun and adventure for almost 200 years. Ensure you use positive adjectives in front of all your nouns in your advertising. So marketing campaign, to think about and decide in today's lesson. The advertising avenue you'll be using to market the theme park. The slogan, colour scheme, font and font for the name of the theme park. If creating a TV or cinema advert, you can either produce a storyboard or write the actual advert. If creating a jingle for the radio, you can either write the song or record it. Your advertising product must make use of at least one of the advertising techniques in this PowerPoint or on the attached document, and there must be evidence of persuasive techniques in any written element. So for today, you need to get started on the advertising plan, but remember, you must make it suitable for your audience and you should be able to explain why you have chosen to market the theme park in this way. I'd like you to write an idea, a uh, write a summary of your ideas and explain why you chose them. So think about and include the name of the theme park, the slogan and colour scheme, which will go on your chosen promotion, who, which celebrities might endorse it and why, and how you will advertise it, what media um, or other means, and please do go into the specifics. So pause the video um, until the end of today's lesson to do your planning for your marketing campaign. Right, thank you very much for your work today, Year 10. Next week, we will work on creating an advert for your theme park. So thank you very much, and I look forward to speaking to you later in the week for your poetry lesson.